Here's an experiment to try. Get a friend and stand on opposite sides of a large field. It could be a football field or a football field or your standard frolicking meadow. Stand on opposite ends of the field and try to communicate. As loud as you can yell, you may find it very difficult to hear each other. Now go back at night. <laughs> If you try this experiment at night, you'll find you can hear each other pretty well. This is due to something called temperature inversion. That is, the speed of sound changes at different times of day, and really different times of year, and it doesn't change evenly. Most of you are familiar with what happens when a wave encounters a change in speed. A bus explosion. The familiar broken straw in a glass of water occurs because light travels much slower in water than it does in air. When light encounters a change in speed, it bends, causing a shift in the image and the straw appears disconnected. And this sort of thing also happens to sound. When it encounters a change in speed, it will too bend. However, the speed of sound in the atmosphere, unlike the straw in the water, changes gradually. And this causes waves to continuously bend, or curve. During the day, the ground is warmer than the air above it, and this causes the sound waves to bend upward. Your friend on the other end of the field can't hear you because the sound is literally going over his head. But at night we have a temperature inversion, and this causes sound waves to bend downwards and can reach ground level over much greater distances. And as the night goes on, this effect becomes even greater. Unfortunately, it's when you're trying to sleep is when you can hear things better. And if you've ever lived in a railroad town, you've noticed this before. It's unfortunate, but you can't destroy the sun. Yet. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, whatever your heart desires. Be sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Acoustics.